Everyone is wondering who Experiment 1006, the prototype, could be. We don't know much about it yet, except for that it's likely the hand that grabbed Mommy Longlegs at the end of Chapter 2 because that hand is seen on both the tapes talking about Experiment 1006. And we know he's very important to the story because of how he's mentioned as causing the incident where Huggy Wuggy went on a rampage and everyone disappeared after that. I thought about it a lot and the more I did, the more convinced I am that Experiment 1006 is Elliot Ludwig, the founder of Playtime Co. himself. Every hint from the tapes points to this. At this point, I would be shocked if it was anyone other than Ludwig. Let me explain why I think so, and if you like this theory, subscribe and check out more of my other Poppy Playtime videos. To start off, the experiment is extremely intelligent. He's able to outsmart the specialists that were watching over him by disabling the cameras, hiding from it, and tricking them into opening the door that was locking him inside the room. The smartest man we know of in Poppy Playtime is the founder of Playtime Co. himself, the one who made the living Poppy possible, and just about everything else. Just based on this alone, we already have a pretty good suspicion on him. And then there's the fact that the experiment is very familiar with machines, from the way he disassembled the digital alarm clock to turn it into a laser pointer. It's said that Elliot Ludwig was a very hardworking man, so no doubt he's done things like that countless times in the factory, where he assembles toys and works with machinery that makes said toys possible. Another similar trait is that the prototype has a shocking willingness to commit violence, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Now there's no one else who's more willing to do that than the man who started the orphanage that kills and revives children. That's right. It's your boy, Ludwig, due to Stone Cold Killing Machine. But why did he do it? It feels like it's too soon. It clearly didn't go smoothly enough since the scientist was even talking about how they should have disposed of him. Well, we know that Ludwig started this whole set of experiments to bring the dead back to life. So it would be odd if he just let himself grow old and die from the 1960s when the first living doll Poppy was made until the 1990s, from when the incident started to appear. He already looked like a middle-aged man in the commercial for Poppy, so in the 1990s, he would have been nearing a grandpa with cognitive decline, unless he turned himself into a living machine. So somewhere between mid-age and senile age, he decides to preserve himself as a living machine, even if some things were gonna go wrong. So now we can see that the similarities and reasoning is there, but maybe it was just another big brain hotshot scientist who was also smart enough and growing old, you might be wondering. But there are two details revealed that pretty much says that it has to be Ludwig and no one else. The scientist in the tape says that the incident were in no doubt in relation to him. Though still missing, these events are no doubt in relation to him. Referring to experiment 1006, and in the background, it sounds like the incident is Huggy Wuggy going on a rampage, as we clearly saw in chapter 1. In another tape, he also says Huggy Wuggy is extremely obedient. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. So experiment 1006 must have ordered him to cause the incident, meaning experiment 1006 has high enough authority in Huggy Wuggy's eyes that no one else could stop him from this rampage. And who else has the highest authority in the entire Playtime Co? Once again, it's your boy Ludwig, the founder himself, of course. Lastly, the tape that talks about Ludwig blurred out his face and seems to have ended the video prematurely before the narrator was about to explain seemingly important details about Ludwig in the year 19-something before the tape was cut off. So it could be that Ludwig is trying to hide evidence of himself turning into the prototype to hide his identity and dark past because turning into a failed experiment that you created is a little bit embarrassing to say the least. 
So that's my theory on who Experiment 1006 is. Tell me your own theories in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.